Hello beautiful souls. This is a message about healing the collective and a very simple thing that each of us can do to really help that process along. Um, I'm going to be illustrating using this wonderful set of Sharpies that I picked up on clearance recently. I went in to get black ones and left with every color Sharpie under the sun. So i um, just going to be using this to illustrate. If you're not familiar with my channel, um, the, my name is Christy. Uh, my channel is Art of Awakening. And Art of Awakening is about exploring ideas and methods for realizing yourself as a divine creator with nature as a guide. So um, one thing that I've really noticed and you know that I think is is something that it doesn't get talked about a lot because it's almost become like this cool thing to do is that a lot of people who really care about the planet right um, have this attitude about humanity that I think is really not serving the collective, it's not serving us as individuals, and it's definitely not serving Mother Earth. Now, they think they're, you know, the idea is, it's it, it's not like there's anything um, that is being done that is consciously, um, you know, not, not try, consciously trying to hurt the Earth. In fact, it, it's like they're trying to, feeling like they're, they're feeling very protective of Earth. Um, but the concept is that we as humanity, humanity is wrecking the earth, that we're destroying the earth, and that humanity is really a bad thing and ought to be wiped off the face of the earth and that the earth would be a lot better off without humanity on it. Now, I've heard this concept articulated in many, many ways by many people over the past few decades. And in fact, I used to kind of think that way myself. Um, and it, it really does come out of a place of hurt and wounding. Um, but it's really not serving anybody. Okay, because when we heal as individuals, one of the most important things, the most important is really to learn to love the self. And we as a collective, as humanity, you know, especially in our Western culture, we're recognizing the extent of just, you know, how bad things have gotten on the earth in terms of, you know, what, what, what's happening to the planet, what's happening to the ecosystems. And, and, and it is, there's a lot of, a lot of suffering going on, you know, with, with the earth and the creatures and and there's a lot of things that have to stop a lot of things that are like definitely not well right and and a lot of what humanity is doing is making it worse but when we come to it with with this from this place of you know, oh my God, humanity is terrible. Um, it's it's very, very damaging because what it does is it perpetuates it, right? It, it creates this veil of just, it's self-loathing, right? And it, it, this, it, it shames and it guilts and it's all those nasty things that we're trying to clear, you know, in, on an individual level for ourselves as we heal but we're doing it to humanity as a whole and so I this is a message that I was just given to express to help to illustrate humanity's place on the planet in the earth in the consciousness and just to illustrate the importance and how wonderful and beautiful we are as a species and why it's so important that we stay on this planet and, and why the planet loves us, why Mother Earth, Mother Gaia loves us so much. 
Okay, so what I was given was on the planet, there's, you know, the planet Gaia, Earth, Mother Earth, she's got a consciousness and we're part of it. And the, the consciousness is expanding because that's what consciousness does. This is the God essence, right? Always expanding. It's very abundant. And so, but with, with Mother Gaia, all her children, including humans, were part of her, right? So it's almost like Gaia is this tree. And, or or the, the consciousness of Gaia is like a tree here. It's like a, a plant. And I'm going to take you, if you've ever had college biology, and take you back to that. And in, in the growing part of a plant, if you look at the cells and so forth, um, you know, there are cells in the bark and there are cells in the woody part of the, the plant. There's cells in the leaves. There's, there's um, you know, the chlorophyll in the leaves that helps the plant to, um, you know, convert light into sugar. You know, the trees are amazing. Plants are amazing. They, they actually eat light. Um, but there are also these growing points. So part of the tree and a very important part is these cells that actually are the cutting edge of growth. And what I was shown was that different species, because it's, it's almost like the different species are different types of cells on the plant. Okay, so where these cutting edges are, these, they're, they're a little layer of cells that kind of pushes forward and expands and, and, and really leads the growth of the tree. It's called a meristem. And a plant will have multiple meristems, like in this one there would be one here growing out that way, there would be one here that run out that way, and here is the one at the top, and that's the one that's leading the growth, right? And it's called the apical meristem, which means the, the leading or the top. Um, the apex, the, the, the top. And what I was shown was that humanity occupies this spot right here, this apical meristem. That's what we are for consciousness on the planet. Um, and there are other meristems. And I was shown that, you know, maybe the cetaceans, the whales, would occupy this spot here. The trees for the plant kingdom, you know, so the whales would be the apical meristem of the ocean life, right? And the trees are the apical meristem of plant life. They're, 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 they're the most conscious. They're the ones that are pushing the consciousness um, in, in that particular, you know, uh, sector of, of Gaia. Um, some of the crystals are going to be the apical meristem of the, 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 the mineral world. Okay, there are ones that I'm told that I, I don't even know what they are, but they're in, in the fungal kingdom. You know, there will be a, a species or a group of species that are going to be that, that, that meristem. Um, but, well, I, I shouldn't say apical, I, I should say for the trees, that's, that's a meristem, right? Um, so it's like these places where consciousness is expanding the most or where that growth of expansion is happening. Um, and then all the other cells are also there, you know, they're supporting it. So the meristem is, you can't say it's more important or less important than any other part of the tree because the meristem is only just a little bitty uh, layer of cells, right, where that growth happens, where that spark is. So it, it you know, and the tree will survive without it, but it's, it's not going to be expanding or growing the way it should. Now, if you cut off a branch right here, you know, it will regenerate and, and eventually find another apical meristem, but you've kind of retarded the growth for a while. You've, you've, you've set things back, okay? So yes, Earth would do fine without us, but it would miss us tremendously. She would miss us tremendously and she would have to then regenerate another species to take our place where we're at. Okay, and that would cost her. So it's, it's like, but I think what's happened is that, you know, some of this biblical idea of um, humans were made you know, as special and as 
um, you know, to be over the others, uh, other species. There's a core of truth to that, for sure, because we do occupy that spot. But I, I think ego has seen that phrase or seen that concept and misinterpreted it to mean that, oh, we've, we, we, we can lord it over everything else and we're more important and that we can trash everything else for our own, you know, desires. Well, that's completely a misinterpretation and, and not what was intended. Um, so just this, this whole thing is just to illustrate this concept of we are indistinguishable, like we, we are so much a part of everything else and, it, and it's all interdependent, but that we occupy a very, very important role and that is the expansion of consciousness. Now, when we're looking at um, kind of where where humanity is right now. So it's like, why why are things so hard? Why have things been so hard? Why why do we get to this point? If, if we're like the center for growth, if we're the, this, this apex of growth, where the growth is happening, then why are we trashing the planet? You know, what's up with that? Um, well, what I was told was that there's like, a lot of it has to do with the masculine feminine roles because that's the creative forces that come together right and um indigenous societies and you know the, the ones that are close to the earth they have definite um you know ways that the males and females relate to each other um, you know, those, those are all mapped out. And so they're able to live in a harmonious way, you know, through this, but it's all mapped out for them. But things had gotten kind of static to where nothing was really, there wasn't a lot of uh, change happening. And, and if growth to happen, change has to happen. Consciousness needs to change in order to grow. Um, and, and so what's had to happen with humanity is like, in order to, uh, you know, step, expand the consciousness, because we've kind of gotten to the point where there was not a lot of growth happening in consciousness, something had to shift so that, so that things could be, like, opened up for uh, bringing in greater levels of consciousness on a collective le level, okay? Um, we'd kind of filled the ability of a single person, and it was time now to to start bringing people together and collaborating and, and, and this is the next phase of consciousness. This is the cutting edge where we're all coming together where there's gonna be telepathy and, and stuff like that. Um, but in order for that to happen, things had to kind of shake up. It's the whole idea of um, sometimes you gotta destroy stuff or, or cut it down or um, you know shake it up before things can come back together again in a different way in order to you, you know expand and grow. And develop so that's what happened with our whole society it it really had to be that way and it's not that we are intrinsically evil although there are some forces that were at play that sort of I think catalyzed this and in fact you can call it evil but you can also call it a catalyst okay so um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know no judgment here it's what happened and it's what happened that results in this expansion of consciousness that we're experiencing right now. Um, so, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so, um, but it all comes down to, this is what had to happen. This is where we're at. And right now it's really, really important for us to to heal a lot of this wounding that had to happen or that happened in the in the in the process of this dissolution of 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 culture of society right and now is a time that we're we're beginning to remember who we are and remember why we're here and to start to pick up the pieces and put them back together in a different way that's 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 going to really expand consciousness in a huge way. This is like a supernova kind of expansion happening on the planet right now. And, and a lot of it is, is happening 
within humanity. I mean, it's happening in all the species, but for humanity, we're, we're a key part of that. And it, it is the ascension of the earth. Okay, this is how the earth herself is ascending in large part through us. Okay, so it's a healing. And this is why it's really, really important right now to to catch ourselves when we start thinking bad thoughts about humanity, thinking that humanity is bad, thinking, you know, that it's shameful to be a human or, or you know, feeling guilty about what we've done to the earth. Um, so, yes, it's very important to be aware of what's happening to the earth and to start to shift how we, you know, act in order to, you know, begin to, to, to heal what's happened. But as if you have done any healing on your own, you know that it's really, really hard to heal when you keep, um, you know, thinking bad thoughts about yourself, right? So it's really important to have that self-love. It's also really important to, to love the collective, to, to love humanity, to recognize how important humanity is and to value humanity. And this is a message that I was given to relay um, from Mother Earth, she loves us. She loves us tremendously. Mother Earth loves us like there's no tomorrow. And um, she really wants us to love ourselves as well. Okay. So I, I hope that uh, this hopefully is resonating with some people. Um, if you've enjoyed this, then then please do like um, like this video and share it. Because I think it's a, it, it feels like it's a really important message. It needs to be shared. It needs to be heard. It needs to be definitely heard. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to uh, subscribe to my channel, if you're seeing this on Higher Self, it's Art of Awakening. And um, I have contact information underneath the video that I've posted on my channel. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. I'll catch you again tomorrow.